Hi, I'm Roland. In this video, I will show you how to use the RichTech firmware update utility, which can be used to program various RichTech USB Type-C power delivery ICs. The RichTech USB PD charger ICs have integrated multiple times programmable memory. You can reprogram the ICs to get different functionality for the charger application. To program these ICs, you can use the RichTech firmware update fixture board. The programming of the RTQ7880 USB PD and Backboost controller MTP is done via its slave iSCRC bus. This iSCRC bus is combined with the USB data pins D plus and D minus on the Type-C connector for legacy device support. During development, it is most convenient to reserve five pins on the PCB that connect to the IC I2C bus, GPIO4, VDD and ground. Pulling GPIO4 to 6.35 volts will set the RTQ7880 in MTP firmware update mode. I will show you how to program via these five pins. The firmware update fixture board has five pin connectors plus cables to connect it to the five pins on the charger application board. For this programming mode, the four dip switches on the programming board must be in the on position. Then connect the firmware update fixture board to the PC USB port. The charger application board is now powered via the USB bus, so no external supply is needed. Then run the RichTech Universal Programming Tool utility and then click Auto Detect. The software will check the IC revision code to make sure that the firmware will match the IC revision. Now you can click Load and browse to a new firmware.rrf file. We select a 45 watt charger application firmware. Then click Program and the new firmware is programmed into the RTQ7880 MTP memory. After programming, you can click Verify to check that everything is correct. Now the charger board can be disconnected and after powering up again, you can check the new firmware capabilities via the RT7800 host board, which now shows a maximum 45 watt source capability without PPS. You can also reprogram the MTP via the Type-C connector, which may be more easy for online firmware updating in the field. Let's program the board back to the 60 watt firmware version. In this case, you connect a firmware update fixture Type-C bus to the charger application Type-C bus. The programming will now go via the D plus and D minus lines, which are also connected to the RTQ7880 slave I2C bus. In this mode, the programmer board dip switches need to be set as following. 1 and 4 off and 2 and 3 on. The RTQ7880 will check the D plus and D minus pins for specific I2C activity during power on. If the special I2C signals are detected, it will switch into programming mode. If not, the D plus and D minus lines will be used to detect BC 1.2 and other legacy device smartphones. So when doing the firmware update, connect the RTQ7880 evaluation board to the lab supply, but don't power on yet. Then we will run the universal firmware update utility and we select RT7880 online. Then click Auto Detect. While the bar is running, switch on the RTQ7880 board supply. Then the MTP programming mode is activated and the IC version is detected. And we can load the 60 watt firmware.rrf file and program the IC as before. After programming, verify and then disconnect everything. After restarting the RTQ7880 board, it will now have the 60 watt source capabilities again.